Welcome back to another Kometsu no Yaiba review. Today is episode 6. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Cow Shock. As always, I read the manga. Logan's an anime viewer only. And we're going to discuss the episode. We go our scores at the end. You ready? I'm ready. So yeah, we got our uniforms. Hell which he wears yeah. under his uh, standard <clears throat> clothes. Because you know what? His clothes are baller, alright? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have some color. You can't just be walking around in a pure black uniform, right? All right. But uh, yeah, we learned that there's little known about the black blades, but kind of like how you speculated, each blade like does have attributes according to their colors. Right. Kind of seemed like the black blade was like, um, not <laughs> very. Yeah, it's like a cursed blade or whatever. Right, it's, it's like... like a scrub blade yeah, is what it can't like. Wielded by those who will never go far. I was like, like damn, that's kind of insulting. Also, the uniforms are cool. How they're kind of like, they're like built, pretty much. They're pretty much demon resistant, kind of. Yeah. Uh, that's that's always handy. You gotta have like, armor, but you gotta I'll have say... it so it can't constrain your specialty, which is movement. So. <clears throat> Right. Uh, and, you know, the Koji got him a new box <laughs> for Nezuko. So he, he doesn't need a straw barrel anymore. Instead, he's actually got a legit, like, box that looks he's good. Upgraded. Yeah. It's stylish and more convenient. I like it. But obviously, it's town time. Go find these demons. <laughs> go find oh. this demon slash <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah obviously we were going to cross Kazumi who is a guy we saw has girl ne- girlfriend kidnapped right next to him which his her parents and other people's parents were not like blamed him for it he's kind of gotten the right. roll into the stick and beaten and like how could you let this happen and it's like well everyone's daughters are fucking getting kidnapped in this town okay <laughs> right. like, is it's everyone pretty, going around beating their children now? Oh, that's a man. Pretty unfair for him to just, you know, get beat up for that. <clears throat> Not like anything we he could do. I mean, especially when we learn what the demons do. Yeah, obviously like, no one believed him for anything. Of like he's like, oh, she just disappeared or whatever. Like no one will believe him. But obviously, Tanjiro believes him because, well, he he knows about demons. Not right. everyone in the world knows about demons, really, to an extent. Uh, it, yeah, that is true because, like, back to episode one, it was kind of like urban legend ish or like a myth ish. So that that does make sense how people would be skeptical about them. Yeah, and obviously his nose is taken off, and he's he's got to smell down the demons. And I just, everybody in the town's like, who the f- is this guy? Like, <laughs> Well, why is he going around sniffing the fucking ground, this weirdo? His <laughs> nose is very handy. <laughs> it makes it's very useful. It's a, quite a good weapon too. Like helps yeah. him track down literally anything. Yeah, and he was able. You know, before we get there, obviously we see the um, the demon kind of in a shadow form following around a girl at home, and the way it just takes her is insane. It's just that's that's nightmare fuel. My God, I'd be terrified if you know arms just come up and grab yeah. you, and they just they just pull you're, you into the black yeah, abyss. Yeah, you're not safe anywhere. <laughs> they were in her home and right. pulled her into the abyss. Like she just wait, and there's like a hand over her, like pulling her in. It's like hell no, I'm out. Yeah, I ain't I'm, dealing with this I'm shit. I'm out. I'm, out. I'm moving. I'm moving towns. I'm moving. I'm dipping. I'm out of there. But. Because they came out, the scent was much stronger, and Tanjiro was able to track them down. And right. because of that, he's able to sense where they are under the ground and in the walls. Like, there was no shadow at this point when he was <laughs> in the ground. So Tanjiro was like, it's strong here, and a human smell. And it's like, it's like, what is this void, man? Like, <laughs> he's just underground, but yet the girl's just in this void, too, with him. And it's like... Right, it's it's crazy. He does, I mean, at least he rescues the girl. Yes, Thank yes. goodness. And we learned that they uh, specifically like sixteen-year-old girls, uh, right? They uh, they it's you know they taste I guess better or something. Demons and their appetites. Yeah. Uh, obviously, this is like 
a morph demon. I can use like the blood arts like as you know, basically we escalate every time. Uh, <laughs> right. So the first one he's come across like this. And it wasn't just one, it was like three of them. But right. they are, he was like split. It was like yeah. the same demon, but just split. <clears throat> yeah, like different kind of personalities. At least like one was like, "Oh, I've been satisfied. We can just leave, go to the next town or whatever." The guy was like, "No, I haven't had enough of these <laughs> these young girls. I need more." And yeah, there's obviously a lot of it is just the fighting and the nose being a weapon, like you were saying. Right. Uh, it, should, it it's I did like the fight because it was like it wasn't him just like you know winning convincingly. So it still shows he's kind of like a novice. Obviously, there's moments where it shows like his skills at advance for like, for example, it's like small. But for example, when he's like running to the demon and the guy was chasing him, like you could tell just how much faster and more agile Tanjiro has become. But then he's not like super overpowered where he's like, oh, I just one shot the demon. He's actually, you know. Yeah. He, that's... And like he's fighting for the first time while protecting someone within a close <clears throat> vicinity. And right. It's like. He can't move as freely, and obviously, he has to be careful not to get too close to the wall. So he's like has all these constraints on him, trying to kill these demons, and he has to be like a clean cut and whatever. But he can't get because he keeps switching like his motions and stuff because he's in the middle of doing like right. three hundred things at once. He can't actually cut deep enough. Yeah, and, and they and, use you know the water technique again, which looks so good. Yeah, I'll just I say that every the art time. style reminds me of, like the game of comics. It's just like kind of like hand drawn, kind of like art style and stuff. And it's just, I love it. Uh, but obviously, Nezuko is kind of forced out at one <clears> point <throat> to help. I did like that too. Like, she kind of, because I hope it goes in the direction like not only him fighting demons, but she kind of also, because I mean, we did learn that um, Tenjiro is obviously teacher put like a hypnosis on her yeah, they kind of did a hypnotic thing to where human all hum, humans are seen as family and has to protect them uh, right i don't know if this is a one-time thing where she like helps fight or like it'll be like she will also become like a demon slayer in a way just you know as a demon but i did enjoy it how she's like popped out and fought yeah and once again kicks the heck out of the guy's head. <laughs> she goes through the head every time and just twisted it around a whole bunch of times, but obviously not enough to kill a demon, clearly. Um, <clears throat> also, we learned that they like to collect the items of the girls they kill. Yeah, that's kind of just... Come on. I mean, all demons gotta be weird. And, yeah, sorry, Kazumi, your GS pretty dead. Uh, Rest in peace. <laughs> Yeah, they don't play with their food. They just eat it and keep an item. Move on. <laughs> demons are demons. Like, yeah, so... kind of ends with Nezuko coming out. Right. Also, briefly, that we didn't mention, um, there was a mention of, like, the demon capable of turning, like, humans to demons. And Tanjiro's, like, goal is to, like, find this demon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it showed, like, a small glimpse of him. Oh, yeah, the first demon. That's where right. I got there. I found him. Uh, and Muzan. Where he's able to, like, yeah. So, and he may not turn him back. So that's basically what he's... Tanjiro's that's kind of like our... For. That's his goal. Yeah, that's our end goal, pretty it's to much. find the first demon. Right. So, Cool. That's it, though. Yeah, that, that's it. That's kind of a big <laughs> thing to point out, though. I right. almost missed it. It's in my notes, and I almost went over it. Uh, but, yeah. Jump on the scores? Sure. I will say... I'll say a solid 7.5 again. I'm just really enjoying this show. It's probably so far up there, one of my favorites of the season. I just like how he's kind of out on his own now. We're getting right into the mission. He's kind of applying all the stuff he's learned. Through his training, we got to see the like demon art thing, which kind of kind of knew that would happen. But it's nice to see it like I'm sure there's different bunch of types, so it's nice to see like how unique these demons could be. Because pretty much every demon we've seen so far that well, 
most of them have been like unique. Some are just, you know, regular ass zombie looking demons. But yeah, I also like the whole tag team with him and his sister. I don't know if it'll be a recurring thing, but it, for the moment, it was cool. So also, I do like how we established pretty much an end goal. Like, obviously, we had the goal of he needs to get his sister back. But now we kind of have how he's going to do it. Like, at least he has somewhere to point to. Like, he has somewhere to head towards. So Yeah, we got a direction. At least. <clears throat> right. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I agree with the seven and a half. Uh, I think it's being adapted really well. I do like the animation style that they took with it. Uh, all these fights that's are just... A, that's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> that animation is always 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just really enjoyable. And, you know, just seeing these demons come out, it's a hell of a time, right? They're to be creepy. a 16-year-old girl. Woo! Move from town to town, take them all, and come back a year later when the 15-year-olds are 16. <laughs> probably, that's probably what they do. Um, they probably have like a chart or something. Just waiting. Who do we kidnap next? Oh, don't worry. I have all these written down. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, and we get to see like the demon's reaction. I'm like, why is this demon working with a human? But, <laughs> but yeah, that does it. Woo! That means it's spiel time. As always, if you don't want us to kidnap a 16-year-old girl you know, be sure to hit the... I'm not taking... I don't know any myself, but... (laughs) I am not participating in that. (laughs) Subscribe! (laughs) Hit the like button. Let us know what you thought of the episode. We didn't like anything like that. And until next time, peace out. See ya.